Hey guys, it's Jamie, and I'm here with my very first pregnancy vlog. Yay! Um, I wanted to film this last week. Uh, my 16th week was last week. I wanted to film it last week, but I kept waiting around saying, well, I really want Wes to be involved, you know, because I want him to be involved in the telling of, like, how I told him and all that. Um, but last week was so busy with him, with him with work and then outside with just being in the yard and his projects, like, every night. Um... I could never nail him down, and when I did, he looked a mess, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, no." <laughs> and I don't know what this is. These little bit, all these little hairs back here, uh, they coming out of my bun. I'm filming this at the end of the day. Got home from work a little while ago, um, but couldn't wait any longer. Just wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, how I found out I was pregnant, how I told Wes, and. Um, I'm filming this on Wednesday, so I just hit 17, my 17th week, the beginning of my 17th week, yesterday. Um, so just kind of where we are and just uh, probably okay. chit chats rewind back all the way back to April. Um, <laughs> April the 3rd, I think it was good, that was Good Friday. Um, had a great day at work, I remember this, had a great day at work, uh, came home, treated myself, I got Wendy's. <laughs> I was like, yay, Wes was not home. Um, and probably about 7 o'clock, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel terrible. Like, I was freezing. I said, I need to go upstairs and take a hot bath. I told you this is going to be a long ramble, so I hope you guys settle in, get a drink, get some popcorn. I don't know. I just really apologize. I feel like I just have a lot to tell you guys. So anyway, that night I came down with the flu. It was miserable. By the time he came, I called him. Uh, by the time he came home... I was in the bed, I was shivering, I had a high, I had a temperature, not like a super high temperature, but like 101, it's a pretty big deal. Um, he came home, he took care of me, Friday night was bad, Saturday during the day I started feeling better, Saturday night was awful, spiked my temperature again, <clears throat> Sunday felt a little better, and by that Monday I felt terrible again. So I decided I'm going to the doctor, I'm going to patient first, I'm not even going to see my doctor, patient first is literally minutes down the street, um, but before I went I just said... Let me just take a test. In my mind, I kept thinking, that was on a Monday, I kept thinking that um, I wasn't late yet. I'm usually like really good at watching my schedule to know like what's up. And um, I said, let me just take the test. Like this would be something that I'd go to patient first and tell them and they'd be like, guess what, you're pregnant. You know, a bunch of strangers in a sterile little, no, Ugh, no. So I took a test here by myself right before lunch and it said positive and I was like I was so sick but I was like what <laughs> it was funny I started laughing but I felt horrible and I was like oh no like I'm gonna have to tell patient first I'm gonna have to tell Wes I don't know what kind of medicine I can take oh my gosh what about the temperature I had it's like freak out mode right so I called, well, Wes called me and said, what can I bring you? And in my family, when we get sick, sometimes all we want is like wonton soup. Not really from like a Chinese restaurant. Not like the wontons, but really the broth. So he said, I'll bring it to you and I'll pick up food and come home for lunch and check on you. And I was like, I have to tell him, like I can't, I don't have time now to do something really grand and put together something really sweet and tell him about it. I needed to do something immediately because he was on the way home and I'm like, uh, I have to tell him. So, long story short, he gets home. Well, <laughs> anyway, he gets home with the Chinese food. And let me show you this little thing. So I ordered this back around Christmas. It's just a gold little fortune cookie. We love fortune cookies. Like, we love getting our fortunes. Um, I've had an infatuation with these things my whole life. Uh, but we love reading our fortunes, whatever. Also, when I ordered this, I thought it was huge. I did not pay attention to the to the dimensions because I thought I was getting like a big one to sit out, <laughs> not a baby one because this thing was like $25 from Shop Bop, I think. Anyway, so I was like, okay, he's bringing Chinese food. I raced upstairs. I grabbed this because I was like, I have an idea. <laughs> Meanwhile, I feel like I'm going to throw up all over the place because I didn't feel good. Um, and so I placed this. Sorry, it, it opens, right? Um... He turned his back, he got the food out, and I put this down in the bag real quick. And I said, babe, what is that? And he looks in the bag and he's like, what is that? And I said, I don't know, what'd you get? <laughs> so silly. He pulls it out and he's like, what is this? He's like, uh, I don't know what this is. And he saw the little opening and he's so silly. He was like, do you put coins in here? <laughs> I was like, I think it opens. 
So he opened it, and inside I had written a little, um, it comes with a little paper, and I said, inside it says, um, Confucius say, you will be most amazing baby daddy. I love you. And he was so caught off guard, he read it, and he's like, looks around. Like, he doesn't get it at first. He's like, what? And I said, it's true. And I'm like, I gotta go lay down. I don't feel good. Um, I felt so bad because usually it'd be something that we would, like, celebrate, hop around. But it was like, he was completely shocked. Was not expecting that. I felt awful. <laughs> um... But it was really cute. At least I found like a cute way to break it to him that wasn't just like, guess what, I'm the flu and I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, so that was cute. He was like, how did you get that in there? And where did you get that? Um, oh, and on the back I have like little lottery numbers. You know how they do the lottery numbers? And I have like special dates. The date that I told him we were pregnant and I think our anniversary date, stuff like that. Um, but it kind of stunk because I go to patient first and they're like, oh wow, you're pregnant and you have the flu. Um... They gave me Tamiflu, which I call, of course I called my doctor. And my doctor's like, yeah, you can take that. It's safe. Um, Tamiflu and I don't react well. This is the second time I've had it. And it makes me physically sick. Whether I eat or don't eat with it, it makes me physically sick. So I stopped taking it. My temperature didn't spike anymore. Um, the doctors didn't seem too worried about the temperature. Uh, I was because it was early on. I mean, it was way early on. Like my pregnancy test said like two to three weeks, something like that. So I called, I made my appointment, um, and that was that. So I spent, like, honestly, a good week being sick from the flu. Um, and Wes and I couldn't really focus on anything else besides getting me to feel better. You know, trying to get me to eat, trying to get me to drink something. Because, you know, all of a sudden you're like, I'm pregnant. I just had a ton of Diet Coke and ginger ale because that's all I could drink <laughs> when I was sick. And it's like, now I have to drink all this water and ew. Anyway, uh, so we got through that, and I think the week after I had the flu, morning sickness arrived. It was like, hey, girl, hey, um, I know you're starting to feel better, but I'm a baby, and it's not the baby. It's hormones. Us girls and our hormones. WTF. Like, for real, everything I read, anything that goes wrong in pregnancy, not goes wrong, that's not what I mean, but, like, anything that pops up, like, you get colds or you get this, you get, it's all hormone related. And I'm like, I wish boys could just experience that once. Just once. But anyway, got the morning sickness. Why they call it morning sickness? I don't know, because it lasts all day long. Um, <laughs> it lasted from probably week three-ish to probably week 11. Um, I was filming a few videos when literally I would have enough in me to film a couple videos, which you saw that I didn't film a ton, but I would film a couple and then I'd be like, oh my god, I just gotta go lay down. Like, I dry heaved a few times. I didn't actually get sick, but uh, that feeling of feeling hungover and just, just sick all day and having to go to work, like, girls, I feel you that had it worse than me. I'm so sorry. Um, or who are still having it later on in their pregnancy. I'm so sorry. And I hope it goes away because that honestly made me cry a lot because I felt like I can't eat. So I'm, am I hurting the baby because I can't eat? You know, and I called the doctor and my nurse there is amazing. Um, and she's like, you know, honey, this happens. My mom, of course, after I told my mom, I didn't tell her right away, but after I told my mom, she's like, don't even raise your head off the pillow until you have a saltine. Well, the problem is, is around the time I got the morning sickness kicked in, I also kicked in major food aversions. Um, all my go-to staples were like, Bleh. like the thought of eating them made me sick. Even the thought of trying to drink a Diet Coke just to get some fluid in me, the thought of that at one point made me sick. Um, ginger ale was my best friend for a while until I realized that ginger ale made me want to be sick. <laughs> right now, I still do not want saltines or ginger ale and I feel great. <laughs> but I'm like, no, 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 I don't want either one of those. Um, but basically the doctors were like, just try to get fluids in you. If you can't eat, just try to get fluids in you. So I tried. Um, Water, Gatorades, lemonades, ginger ale, Sprite, any caffeine-free soda I tried. I was like, I'll, they were like, do anything to get fluid in you. Um, 
but it was just a mess like my mom after I told her she came up and brought me I called her and I said I need chicken and dumplings you know it's like going into spring and she's like really she's like okay she made them the night before and she brought them up the next day I ended up eating like this much of them um but it was enough to at least I didn't want the chicken the chicken like grossed me out but like the dumpling part I remember crying to, not crying to her but being like I don't know like some people say this lasts the whole time like <laughs> how do you function you know like I, I watch youtubers that talk about it like the bigger ones that do YouTube for a living so they stay home and I'm like gosh you're so lucky because having to get up and go to work and not talk to anyone about it until like t week 12 or after you know where you're just like oh my god nobody talked to me just let me get my work done of course I have Mindy my best friend at work so uh she knew everything um I had told her I told her I think she was one of the first people I told Yes, she was. Um, I told Wes, obviously, and then I think I told Mindy, and then told a couple of friends, and then told my parents. Um, sorry, there's a guy walking a box. Is that a boxer with a tail? Sorry, sidetracked. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> Mindy knew what was going on, so I was able to talk to her. She was able to, like, you know, can I get you anything? What do you need? Um, but it was rough. Just rough. I would come home for lunch and basically try to eat something and then lay on the couch thank god i work only a few minutes away from you know where i live but and it was weird for a little while all i could eat were certain lean cuisines i know they have a lot of sodium and they may not be the healthiest but when that's all you can eat that's all you can eat um but one time wes brought in ribs and i was like what is that god awful smell and he's like what it's the best ribs i've ever had and i was like get them away from me <laughs> they stunk so bad. Uh, my food aversions are better right currently. Um, <laughs> I obviously had no cravings back in the day, uh, back in the middle of all that morning sickness. No cravings. It was just kind of like every night was a chore, and Wes was a complete doll. Um, I mean, he would come home from work and be like, what do you need, baby? I'll go anywhere to get you something if you think you'll eat it. I don't care if it's healthy. If it's not healthy, you got to eat. I mean, <laughs> a few chicken nuggets from Wendy's with no no sauce on them, just the plain meat. And like, because I guess they say sometimes like salty, more starch, like potatoes and stuff people want sometimes. Um, gosh, it was, it was, it was a little rough. Um, we're on the other side of it, so it's okay now. Uh, the fatigue, Lord have mercy. Um, <laughs> nothing like... When they say you have fatigue in your first three months, um, that is no joke. Uh, <laughs> I would literally, I get off work at 5.30. Um, I'm usually here by 5.40. And I would come home. We would figure out what girlfriend could eat. I would nibble on something. And literally sometimes by 6.30, quarter to 7, I was already in the bed. For, I feel like for two months, Wes and I just did not see each other very much. And we would talk about it. And we'd be like, he'd come up and he'd take care of me, check on me, you know, bring me a cold bottle of water if my water was getting warm or see if I needed ginger ale or something like that. But I was so exhausted. I'm not even sure how I made it through the day. Um, and I allowed myself. I didn't fight it. I allowed myself when I was tired to come home and get in the bed. Don't feel guilty about not doing laundry. I didn't feel guilty about... I felt guilty about not spending some time with the dogs. Um, just because they were like, uh, hey lady, I haven't seen you at all. I mean, and I feel guilty about that because they're my babies. Um, and they know when they're, they know when we're here, but they can't, you know, get to us. Um, so the fatigue was insane. On the weekends, I did nothing, which is not normal for me. Normally, Wes and I will fill up our weekends and then we'll have a weekend where it's chill. Uh, <clears throat> the weekends were kind of like, I wanted to do stuff. But between not feeling good and being so tired, I just physically couldn't. Um, that's why you saw hit or miss videos from me. Um, and sometimes the vlogs, I was smiling, but it was you were catching me at a few moments where I was feeling okay. Or, I'm telling you, it was rough. And I wish I could have kept filming through all that, but I just got to the point where I was like, I just can't. Like, I would, the thought of getting dressed and putting on makeup... And having to be 
going up the flight of stairs. <laughs> it was rough anyway. You girls that have had children, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not trying to scare anyone who doesn't have children. It's just the facts. It happens. Uh, and everyone's different. It affects everyone differently. I've met several girls that said, one of my neighbors, I had no morning sickness. I said, well, I can't tell you what I said to her, but I was like, what? <laughs> That's awesome. I also um, know of a girl who had morning sickness the entire pregnancy. And I'm like, I feel so bad for you. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of what other symptoms. Oh, <laughs> can we talk like deep, I guess, like personal? Um, they said that your chest would like be sore or ache or whatever. Uh, I'm lucky that it only happened to me at nighttime. And when I tell you, uh, it wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a more intense, like your monthly cycle. Sometimes you're Sometimes your bubbies get sore, um, but no, I would go to sleep and turn over, and I swear, I told Wes, it's like stabby pain, like uh, sharp shooting pains in your bubbies. <laughs> that lasted for a little while. Luckily, is when I was sleeping, so it would wake me up, and I'd be like, oh, don't turn that way, and go straight back to sleep. Um, didn't notice it during the day, didn't notice it in, like, my, my regular, my clothes, my bra, whatever. Um... But notice it at nighttime. You know, it took a while to get a bump, obviously. Um, I did notice early on that um, I would bloat a little more than normal, which I read that was normal. Uh, I didn't have any... I don't recall having any cramps. No cramps, which I was kind of expecting. So I know sometimes when everything's in plan... I don't even remember having cramps before I found out. Um, don't remember having cramps. No, like, spotting or anything like that. Ugh. I hate talking about that stuff. Oh, and I will just be honest and tell you that the nausea was so bad at one time that I did get something for that. Um, talked to my doctor and, oh, I do have something else to talk about. Talked to my doctor and it's um, a newer, I think it's a newer one on the market that's uh, really safe. And um, talked to her and we did a regimen of when I took it at nighttime and when to get off of it. And I got off of it before I think the morning sickness was over. But um, I follow my doctor's orders. Some of you, I'm sure, are anti. Don't take anything while you're pregnant. And I respect that. But um, I am someone who I believe in my doctor. I believe in her practice. And I believe in her knowledge of what is healthy and what's not. Um, and between her, my pharmacist, <laughs> and Google, um, I felt fine about what I was doing. Uh, the biggest part of this for me is starting out on the wrong foot as far as having the flu. I feel like that kind of set the tone for me having this like cold allergy sinusy thing. Um, you guys knew, know all about the coughing. If you watch all my videos, you watch the vlogs because I talked about it a lot because it was annoying. I mean, I'm like, hey, look at this, look at this. It was annoying. Um, but. I personally think, and it's weird because nobody can actually tell me this, I think being sick in the beginning and having a cough in the beginning, I think that my pregnancy hormones did react to that and made stuff linger. And they say when you when you get pregnant, you um, can be more, uh, what is it? You can get nasally, you can get stuffed up, you can get congested, sorry, that's the word. Uh, congestion is, is normal for some women. Um, I hate this word. Oh my god, so gross. But like, you get like mucusy. Hate it. Um, I wonder if I never got sick in the beginning, how bad I actually would have had that stuff. Um, who knows? But I started off with the flu. Then I got morning sickness. Then I had allergies pop up, which I do get seasonal allergies that normally last like March, April ish. The allergies turned into a sinus infection. Um. Which, on and off, I am taking things that between the patient first doctor or my regular doctor, my OB, her nurse, and the pharmacist all agreed that what I was doing was fine. I didn't take anything without them telling me to. Um, so, yeah, so back, what was I saying? <laughs> Is this pregnancy brain? I don't know. Uh, so, flu, morning sickness, allergy, sinus. That turned into my throat infection which then I also had some type of cold slash allergy thing a couple weeks ago. Basically, I had a cough from April until it's pretty much gone away now, but like a week and a half ago, it started to like decline. That's a long time. The cough was so out of control from time to time that it would make me physically sick. Like I would actually 
throw up from it. That's a great way to start your morning, you know, or end your night by coughing so much that you run to the bathroom. Sorry, TMI, disgusting. Um, but I also had a lot of drainage through here the entire time. And at first my doctor thought it was um, reflux. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It was not reflux. Uh, I took Pepsid, but it wasn't reflux. Um, <clears throat> I have it from time to time now, but it is like 100, no, it's like 99% better. It was so bad some nights and some days, I felt like I couldn't even swallow. There was just like lumps of stuff happening and um, nothing, nothing could fix it. I went to the doctor and um, my primary care doctor, they see you're pregnant and they don't even really want to talk, touch you because they're scared of you. And I understand that they need to take precautions because it's sensitive and you don't want to do anything to hurt your baby. I don't want to do anything to hurt my baby. Um, but where are the general doctors that specialize in pregnancy? Because you should have a general practitioner that can talk to me about colds and sinus and what's going on in my throat, but be specialized in pregnancy so they know what can hurt the baby, the, what, what won't, what's good, what's bad. Yeah, there's like nobody here where I am that does that. Um, but I am happy to say that I feel so much better the drainage is like cut down so much. Um, I sneeze from time to time. I get a little congested in the morning, but I'm okay with that. That's fine. Um, it's just so much better than feeling sick all the time. Because at one point, I called my nurse and I said, she's like, how are you feeling, honey? And I'm like, well, if I could replace this part of me, I'd be golden. She's like, really? I said, yeah, the morning sickness is gone. It's just like my throat and my head. And really, if I could have replaced this for a while, um, and I'm not complaining, uh, I'm just telling you what's up, telling you what happened, um, <clears throat> and I honestly felt at one point that this was even worse than the morning sickness, and I just truly believe that if I hadn't started being sick, that it wouldn't have been that bad. Who knows? Nice. Um, so, I told my parents on my daddy's birthday, it was April the 19th, and we went out to dinner, and I could barely eat dinner, I was so sick. I thought for sure my mom was going to jump on me at dinner when I didn't order a Diet Coke and I ordered seltzer water. But she knows I'll, I'll order that from time to time. Um, but it's rare. And I was like, oh gosh, please don't notice that. And she didn't, because we were talking. And in my dad's card, I put, you know... We love you, Jamie West. I always signed the dogs and put little paw prints. So I had Jade and Barkley, and then I had in Baby C, which is our initial for our last name, Baby C, um, coming 2000, December 2015. And my, I said, I told Wes, I said, we'll see if my dad really reads his card. And he opened it, and he was reading it, but my mom glanced over, and she's like, wait, what's that? And she was excited, and she teared up, and my dad was like, oh my gosh, it's great. And then we talked about how I couldn't eat my dinner. <laughs> There was a time when a big, huge part of my life where I pretty much let everyone in my family know that we weren't having children. Um, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, I got married at 32. <clears throat> before Wes, Wes and I were together for five years before we got married. We chose to get married at that time. It worked for us. Financially, it was where we needed to be. I wasn't in a rush. I was never that girl that like dying to get married. But then once I met Wes, I was like, yeah, I can marry him tomorrow. Um, but before we got engaged, people, and not my mom, people, some family on his side too, would start asking us, well, when are you having children? I'm like, there's no ring on my finger. At the time, there was no ring on my finger. Why are you asking me this? Um, I just felt like it got out of control because for a lot of girls, uh, especially where I'm from in this region, and maybe it's across, but definitely in Virginia, in Southern Virginia, um, it is what's wrong with you if you don't get married and have babies immediately out of, out of high school or out of college. When you graduate something, it means get married and have babies. Um, I wasn't on that train. I wanted to graduate high school. I wanted to graduate college. I wanted to be on my own. I wanted to be independent. I wanted to have my job. I wanted to go on vacation with my friends. I wanted to date. Wanted to have a good time. Um, I did not meet the love of my life until I was like a month before I turned 27. And obviously I was not someone that was going to like rush into getting married. And when I met him, he was younger than me. He was 21 years old. So the five years worked for us. 
Uh, but people just start it. Like, as soon as you got a boyfriend, when are you getting married? Or when are you having babies? Well, I'm not. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, a lot of my family just, they stopped asking. A lot of his family <sighs> stopped asking. And it was nice because it was like, let me enjoy each stage of my life. Let me enjoy the dating. Let me enjoy being engaged. Let me enjoy being married. Let me enjoy being a newlywed. And don't start asking me now when I'm pregnant if I'm going to have another one. Like, don't do that. Let me enjoy. Let, let, let us girls enjoy the stages of our life. Um, and to be honest with you, like I said in the other video, the husband tag where we announced it, um, it took a while for me to understand that I wanted to have a child. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I was never that little girl. I know lots of girls that are like this. I was never that little girl that dreamed of a perfect wedding and the wedding dress and this and that. Never did that. Um, never that girl that was like, oh, I'm going to get married and I'm going to have 2.5 kids. That's great. I was never that girl that was like, I know what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. Like, my dad knew he wanted to be a history teacher when he was in high school. I still don't know what I want to do when I grow up because I don't feel like I'm grown yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, for me, it takes me a while to come around, like I said, to big life changes. And we are here. And um, I'm excited. And I'm happy. And he's happy. And there's nothing quite like, you know, seeing your husband look at you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hormones I don't know it's nothing quite like what we're going through right now um, with each other Wes and I have been together for oh 11 years this month and um, he has been with me through some terrible family like losses um, he's been with me through some fun times some great times uh, getting dogs to losing them which is a, on a whole other level um, We've been through a lot. Uh, we've gone through loss together, as in um, something that I haven't told you guys and didn't really plan on talking about it. I'm not really going to talk about it too much um, unless I get some questions on it, but we were pregnant before and we had a miscarriage and we lost it. Um, that was a whole other situation. Um, and you never think that you can get closer to your partner until you go through these things. And now we're on the other side of it and we're having a baby and our family is growing by one. And um, I never knew how much that would mean to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, or how much it would mean to him and how much uh, I can see the, the depths of what we have it, it getting even stronger. It's just really cool. Um, Sorry hot mess alert. Um, I just wanted this to be really candid and I wanted to be really honest and um, these videos that I'm going to be doing are just as much for me and my sake as they are for you guys just to know what's going on and to go through this journey with me. Uh, the good, the bad, the weird, the gross, all of it. <laughs> the exciting, the miracle that it is. Um, I'm someone that still can't believe that there's something growing inside of me. <laughs> like a tiny human. So at 17 weeks, I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on. I'm just pulling it up on my little app here. Um, it says that the baby weighs 5 ounces right now, and it's about as big as a turnip. <laughs> um, and it's around 5 inches long from top to bottom. The baby can move his or her joints, and sweat glands are starting to develop. It also says that the skeleton is changing from soft cartilage to bone, and the umbilical cord um, is growing stronger and thicker. <laughs> okay um it just blows my mind like it's so weird it's just so weird that something's in there and you I can't feel it move yet haven't had any of that and I don't think um that a lot of women I've the emails that I get the books that I have um I think a lot of women don't usually feel that until 20 weeks or so I mean some people might feel it sooner I don't know I haven't felt anything, and if I have, I don't know what I'm feeling. <laughs> um, we have had the original ultrasound, which we had at 10 weeks instead of 8. It just got scheduled late. Um, I had no idea what we were looking at. It looked like an insect. If the lady hadn't written head and butt bottom, we wouldn't know what we were looking at. Um, went back for that first trimester screening, which they make all mothers do. Uh, had no idea that, that when we went, that was at like... Crap, when was that? Like 13 weeks, maybe? 12, 13 weeks? Um, which came back great. Everything came back, came back okay. It's really stressful, though. It really is. They can scare the crap out of you. 
Um, cause they're like, oh, congratulations, you're pregnant. By the way, one in 200 people your age can have this. And you're like, what? Anyway, uh, that one was cool because it actually started to look like a baby. And it looked like it was chilling. And mind you, it was probably like this big. But on screen, it looked like it had its arms up and its legs out. And it was like this. It was moving a lot. She's like, it was really moving, um, which was fun. Unfortunately, Wes didn't get to go with me on that one because he was on a business trip. And because it's time sensitive, we couldn't move it. We tried to move it, but they actually never even called me back to reschedule. I thought they were being turds. Um, and I didn't think that I was going to see anything. And I didn't let anybody go with me because I kept thinking it was an internal ultrasound. Nobody tells me things. It wasn't. It was external, which is great. And I would have had my mom go. Uh, that's okay. It was it was good for me to go. And um, we went back a few weeks ago and heard, like 16 weeks, and heard the heartbeat. Which was kind of, it was fun. And it was really cool. But it was kind of a letdown because you only got to hear it for like a few seconds. And I was kind of like, can we just chill out with it for a while? <laughs> I know I probably could have asked. But when you don't know the rules, it's like, I don't know. Um... Heck, I didn't even realize that you didn't get an ultrasound every time you went to the doctor. Who knew that? Insurance doesn't cover you. Um, so next week, we go back for an appointment, and if all cooperates, we'll find out the sex of the baby. We haven't figured out how we want to do that. I know I don't want the ultrasound tech to tell us. I want her to write it down, and then we're going to figure out how we want it. We're not going to do a gender reveal party, or nothing like that. Um, that's not really our style. <clears throat> I thought about it, but it's not really our style. I need to figure out a way to, like, tell my mom and make it special and tell a couple people to kind of make it special, not just, like, over text or a phone call. Um, we just need a healthy baby. I am over 35, so um, a lot of people are like, well, what do you want? And I'm like, I want, I truly, and I know everyone says this, I truly need and want a healthy baby. Like, that's what I want. I want everything. I want all the fingers, all the toes. I want everything functioning and forming right. And if it's a boy awesome and if it's a girl awesome I told uh, if um, if it's a little girl I think that's so sweet especially if it turns out to be girly like me um, well girly and like sporty at the same time and if it's a boy if it's anything like Wes like I'm all set <laughs> so um, we really don't care most people in our family think it's a boy and there are a handful of people that think it's a girl uh, we should take bets and then we should take all the money for it um, but yeah, we should know soon, and I will tell you guys at some point when I can make a video on it. I won't keep you in the dark. At this point, uh, we're starting to think of daycares, which is like, whoo, that stuff's expensive. Um, but I have to work. He has to work. Um, and our family is just too far to watch our baby. Um, if we lived closer to my mom, she could do it every day, and she would. Um, but we are about an hour from her, and that's just not going to work out. So we're looking at you know, we're looking at our options, and um, wow, it's expensive, and uh, we'll make it work. Uh, for me, I'll be honest, I haven't had any major freakouts. Like, I read in my book, you know, at this point, you know, you and your partner might start to have anxiety about what kind of parents you'll be, and you and your partner... <sighs> Thank goodness. I think I've had all these issues and anxieties previously, so right now, I just feel very comfortable in the moment, I feel very comfortable. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what to do. I haven't been around many babies before in my life, but we're gonna figure it out. Uh, I did freak out a little bit about the whole daycare thing because when you think about the money coming out, it's like, well, okay, we can handle it. But what if my car breaks down? What if I lose a job? What if you lose a job? What if something happens? And he's like, babe, stop. Get it together. Get it together. Uh, everything's gonna be fine. Um, that's the only freak out I've had. Um, I've been very calm about everything else. You know, I've been nervous, though, about is everything okay? For me, I'm like, I need to see it. Like, I wish I could have an ultrasound every day just to check on it. But I think when you've lost one before, and some women have lost a ton, you know, many, when you've lost it before, you're always... How do I say this? It doesn't take the excitement out of this one, and it didn't but it added worry into it where before I didn't have it. <laughs> um, but I have so I've worried less. Um, I did get really worried though with the temperature and the flu and then having these sicknesses. Um, I'm trying to eat pretty good. Um, my, my appetite for maybe like one week during all of this, I, I remember telling Mindy, I can't seem to fill up. I just want to eat all the time. That has stopped. Um, I'm trying to eat 
at least a salad a day. Um, I'm doing like some smoothies with spinach. I do have fast food from time to time, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm trying to just eat a lot more fruits, trying to add vegetables in where maybe I wouldn't. I am drinking a crap ton of water. <sighs> a lot of water. Lately I've been on apple juice kick. Uh, Gatorades when I can. Um, decaf teas, unsweetened decaf teas. Uh, oh man, sometimes I just dream about Diet Coke from McDonald's. I can't wait until I'm going to go have the biggest one they allow. <laughs> Maybe somebody will bring that to me in the hospital. But wait, can you have that? I don't know. Anyway, um, haven't started the baby's room yet. Haven't started thinking about names. We want to see what the sex is first and then we'll start with that. Just trying to take it slow. Trying to enjoy it at this point. Um, finally have a little bit of a bump, which you guys can see. And um, it's, sometimes it's like weird. Sometimes I'm like, oh, look, I just finished a six pack. And other times I'm like, oh, you can see a baby bump. I didn't do the whole rubber band thing around my pants. I said, to heck with that. I'm just going to buy some maternity jeans. And I did. And they are fabulous. Why us girls can't wear these for the rest of our lives, I do not know. Um, I went to Destination Maternity. I got four pair. Uh, one pair I got for 15 bucks, so a pair of capris. It's like their brand, whatever it is, I can't remember. It's like nothing fancy. I got a pair of boyfriend jeans, um, which I'm wearing, and the capris. And then I got two pair of Jessica Simpson jeans, which fit me awesomely. I had anxiety before about like, what about maternity clothes? Like, I have a hard time buying jeans anyway, so I'm curvy cut. How are maternity jeans going to fit? Perfect! Nobody be scared uh, of that. I haven't bought any maternity tops or anything like that. I'm just buying flowy. Thank goodness the loft has a lot of like swing style tops because that's what I'm wearing a ton of right now. Um, this is a top I had last year. It's a little snug on my tummy. I went for a while. I'm not wanting anything to touch it. Now I don't care. Um, but yeah, I haven't spent a lot of extra money on maternity stuff. Just the pants. And they give you a big thing, like a fake belly to put on just to show you how. Because I got the ones with the... Uh, girdle style thing and it expands with you so hopefully I'll be able to wear these for a while and if not I didn't pay too terribly much for them so I don't feel bad um they definitely have the cute ones like the designer ones when you walk in and you're like oh my gosh 290 some dollars for one pair of maternity jeans now how about get four for a fraction of that <laughs> which is what I did but yeah I can't think of anything else really uh I hope this was interesting let me know if you have any questions um, I do want to say a couple of things I've been trying to post more videos and I know I'm not the speediest and I haven't gotten back on all the comments and please bear with me because work is really busy right now which I know everybody's work is busy but work is really busy I still have days where I come home and for some reason I don't feel well like uh, the 4th of July that night my stomach was just out of sorts and I just did not feel well um, and Sunday I was like a zombie. I was so tired. I told us I feel like I never fully woke up. That I was going to film videos then and I didn't. I was going to do comments then and I didn't. Um, I'm definitely taking cues from my body when I need to rest. I rest. Um, but I read everything you guys leave me. And you, you have to know that I love you guys. I'm so thankful for you guys. All of your supportive comments on Instagram, on YouTube. They mean the world to us. Like they truly do. Um, I've read all of them, uh, they're just awesome, and I thank you guys so much, because, um, as we go through things in life, like, I know we haven't met, but, like, your support means a lot, it really, really does, and, um, even to, the, even for those that just watch the videos and don't leave comments, I appreciate it, uh, if you have any questions about where I am with pregnancy or anything that I've talked about, let me know. Eventually I might try to do like a little Q&A video if I get questions. If I don't, I won't have to. Um, but yeah, I guess that's about it. That's 17 weeks. I'm going to try to stand up and give you a little shot of my bump. Um, and yeah, that's. I guess that's about it. No real cravings yet. Um, I know I'm all over the place. For me, I have a lot of cravings regularly. Like not being pregnant so I told somebody the other day I was like I would have to crave something that I don't normally like it have to be weird like I'm not really crave sorry I'm not really craving the apple juice but I just want something different than water sometimes so then I go to that um but yeah I'll keep you posted okay so let me try to get my baby bump in okay can you see that <laughs> see it's poking out 
It looks bigger in, no, that's not good. It looks bigger in person than on camera, but um, I'll show you these maternity, this is maternity right here, this is not my skin. Um, it goes up so high, and I was telling, um, was it Mindy today, that sometimes without, and this is also the end of the day, which I always feel like I look bigger um, at the end of the day, but with the maternity jeans and the this part, the um, stretchy part, I feel like it makes you look a little more prigs than you probably really are um, because it kind of just holds it together. Like this is not tighter, this is not tight, it's really soft, it's really comfortable, but um, kind of just like pulls you together. Uh, but anyway, like I was at my mom's house over the weekend and um, oh, the out of breath I've had on occasion, but it hasn't been that bad. Uh, and I had on a bathing suit. I had on a little tankini top and it was flowy and I opened it up because it's like separate like a little curtain. I opened it up and she's like, yeah, it's it's really little. And I'm like, yeah. It's like, but wait till the end of the day. It'll be bigger. Um, that could be bloating. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try to do these things every week or so. Um, like I said, to keep me updated to where I am. Um, and just to interact with you guys and uh, hear your thoughts and and all that good stuff. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and um, stay tuned for more videos. And I'm so glad to have you along uh, this journey with Wes and I. I'm sure you'll see him in a video soon too. So thanks guys. I love you so much. Bye.